Next game started and I got some food. Alright. EG hated that enigma. And EG had two counters for it. Rubik and Silencer. So this is why you don't get Rubik. Crit never got a single freaking steal on the black hole. And I felt like Crit was in the front lines pretty much every time he died. Which means that he's either getting picked off. Or he's on the front lines and he's not supposed to be. So we're not going to blame the Rubik pick for that. We're going to blame Crit. <laughs> we'll blame the pro, not the pick. And that was a very um, standard draft from EG, so. Got to be a little bit worried if you're EG right now. Ten seconds remaining. Cole's actually going to get rid of Oracle. They, they don't want any healers, period, in this game. You're going to heal, you're going to pick Dazzle. Sorry, I'm still going to be eating. I love This thing's pretty good. Won't take long. Doom. GG's getting rid of Doom. They're like, look. If S4 can do this well on Doom, anybody can. <laughs> I'm, I'm really shitting on S4. He, he's Swedish. It's just fun to do. Nothing, No ill intentions against my boy S4. So, Complexity is going to go for the Sand King again. And uh, this is why you go 4 position instead of 3. Because you win games when you pick it as a 4 position. You know, they had a rough time in lane too. And they still won with it. This tastes like coffee. It's supposed to be Kit Kat. What are EG going to pick first? Dark Shears is available, right? Damn. And then, ooh, the Knicks for the SK. Insta pick Enchantress. That's three, four threes. Actually, it could be Tavo. I think Tavo plays that here. I actually don't know much about Tavo. But I'm pretty sure I saw a game with him and he was Enchantress. So. Usually in Bro Dota, it's uh, five positions, so it's most likely three, four, threes. He plays these very weird heroes, like he does Blash. I know he does Enchantress. But then again, Tava does like Lion with Shadow Blades, so. The, these weird drafts are actually starting to do pretty well in these... in this sort of meta like with alliance and stuff it seems that you stick to bread and butter and you're kind of like an underdog team you're pretty screwed so you got to mix it up a bit Archie specter that's indicating that that to me that they want more blank heroes so seven could be one of those blank heroes they could do wraith king, wraith king again but i don't think you want to do that against Dark Seer. Sven's not too bad because of his God Strength. Ten seconds remaining. So, Five like in terms of he's not bad against Dark Seer because of his God Strength. You just do it after kind of thing. Complexity, I would be banning Sumail heroes mostly. They're banning a lot of Arteezy. But Arteezy Animage is one of his better heroes, and he didn't do much last game, so. Wow, okay. That is a Sumail hero. In a way. I just find it weird when they, like. When Drow's banned, how people still ban Morph, but he is picked, regardless. Mm. 
I gotta change something quickly. No wonder my eyes are hurting. Okay, that's much better. Who's a blank hero that complexity likes to get? We already got Z Freak Zero. Miracle could do like Ursa Blink, but I doubt it. Not against Nyx. Actually, Ursa's not bad uh, versus Dark Seer either. What about complexity getting an anti mage? Okay, he's just gonna grab your survivor. That's one way of stopping them from getting it. <laughs> you just take it yourself. Uh, now, what was the anti savant hero? It was in a series yesterday. I forget what it was, though. Ursa. I, Ur Ursa's not bad here. You get Scepter, you don't have to ever worry about Nyx. Darkseer's not a problem with Ursa. And obviously he beats Savant too, so. I think Lifestealer was good too. Probably better than Ursa. But Ursa's a miracle comfort pick. But Lifestear, I think, is just better because he really man fights Sven pretty good. Actually, no. Ursa is better. You can't gap close a Dark Seer with a Lifestealer. So, the Ursa, you can. Shadow Demon. The Fly Shadow Demon. Now, this is an Ursa counter. I really like Shadow Demon this meta, too. He's, he was picked up once, and he won the game he was picked up. I forget what teams that... I think that was actually Liquid OG. Ooh, Witch Doctor. Throwing a lot of curveballs here. Not that great. Actually, I'm not sure why they picked Witch. He's pretty bad here. They also just revealed that they have a core enchantress. So it's a Z Freak Sand King. That's going to be a Tavo Enchantress. 343 three Witch Doctor. Um, unless a Tavo does the Witch Doctor. But you probably don't want to do Core Witch Doctor versus Nyx because you're not going to be getting your ult off too much. A Vacuum will stop you. Storm Hammer will stop you. Disruption will stop you. So a lot of things to stop you. I'm wondering about Pugna for EG. Nah, not the greatest. It was better Pugna games. Definitely. So, final bands are coming out. We know Sumail Hero for EG. And then... Unless they do, like, Shadow Demon mid, but I highly doubt that. And Complexity also needs their mid hero. So, EG's gonna get rid of TA, which seems to be something they don't really know how to deal with. And complexity. I'm trying to think when they fought EG, what did they lose against that EG head? I'm trying to keep this this flipping chair in place, but it just doesn't want it. Two seconds with lots of reserve time for both teams. NA drafting is a little more faster, I find, than Euro drafting. What about a storm for complexity? Nyx is obviously a pain in the ass, but otherwise, it's not a bad storm game. Uh, do they have a spirit missile carrier? Kind of, yeah. Um, do they have anything to pierce through BKB? Not really, especially for lockdown. So who's a mid that pierces through BKB? I have a here, or I did have a heroes tab. Where'd my heroes tab go? Quick. I got a bit of time. Kanka. No. Uh, Alchemist. No. Uh, 
Uh, Viper, Shadow Demon, Medusa. Medusa gives them light game. Uh, Complexity's catch is really bad, though. Like, this is why I like the storm. Uh, Tinker. <sighs> no. Wouldn't do Tinker. Pango, Monkey. Complexity could do Monkey, actually. It's not a bad monkey game. Complexity is going to get rid of the storm. Okay. Uh, Ember. Ember. Queen of Pain. No. Ember is actually not bad. So there's Ember. They could do... Do they do Invoker? Does Limp do Invoker? I don't, I don't know. Can't remember. OD. No. See, all these magic -y mids are not really viable. So they go with the Razor. I'm not a fan of this complexity draft, though. Their their catch is basically limited to Ursa and Sand King. But the same could be said for EG. They don't have much catch either, right? Unless they're sneaking up on somebody in Viz. They'll have to wait for Darkseer Blink, which is usually not a immediate item to get. Which basically just leaves Seven. So... Who would EG pick as their mid for catch? I don't think Monkey's the right hero, not against Razor. Uh, there's actually not too many heroes that could deal with Razor, especially when it comes to catch. But Sumail Quap is okay-ish against Razor. Actually, I really like Quap here. This is a really good Quap game. It's good against the Chantress. Uh, damn, it's really good. This is such a good quad game. But it leaves a lot of pressure on RTZ to carry. There you go. Holy fuck. I can't believe how on point I am with these calls. <laughs> I've called out a lot of heroes. But then again, I'm just throwing a ton of heroes out. But I knew this was the quad game. Like, big time knew this. So Limp on Razor, we got Miracle on his prestigious Ursa. Z Freak is going to be Wait, what? Oh yeah. Why why did I say that this was a core enchantress? That was stupid of me. Enchantress is always the five position, not the four. So Witch Doctor four position, that makes sense. And then Tavo on your Sand King. S4 on his Dark Seer. I really like that crit set actually on the Knicks. Arteezy on the Seven Fly. Shadow Demon and Sumail on his lovely, beautiful Queen of Pain. This is a very good Queen of Pain game. Very good. You got your Blink Counters. You got your Burst, which is definitely needed versus Enchantress Razor Draft. Neek Assassin. Razor. 14 commands. Dang. 14 and 2. Yikes. It's a strong Razor statistic right there. Well, put on the free camera. Holy shit. Mommy got me in a motorly. So Limp will be made for call. They're kind of grouped up bottom. Are they thinking about a smoke? There is a smoke on 343. They got the stuns needed. Arteezy is alone down here. The Bobev. This is actually a really cool Seven set. Holy shoot, that's cool. I love it. Lots of stuff being drawn on the map. Smell with the mantles. Shadow Demon with the tangos. And the mangoes. And the mangoes and more mangoes. Everybody's got mangoes. Mantles, mangoes, tangos. Whoa, that was crazy. The echo. Tempin 343. Ah, everybody's just gonna take it easy, so. 
Top lane is definitely going to be the EG show. Bottom is going to be the complexity show. Okay. Uh, people are okay with this. It's like they're they're putting an effort to stop each other, but at the same time, they're also not. It's a bit of yin yang. See miracle swapping lanes. Pavo Z freak bot. Three four three. A miracle top. Flies sitting around the back. He really wants a courier, and he just avoids miracle for this. Lips calling it. See if he'll be able to get it. Got some pigs out here. S4 has already begun to push the lane. Most likely your most active lane is going to be bottom. Where did Fly go? Oh, he already went bottom. Look at this. Sneaky. It's really smart, actually. Next level. He should almost just be sitting here, Fly, eh? That'd be the next, next level. Kind of thinking. Let's get some game stats. Last hits. Miracle in the lead. Tavo's taking a ton of damage, actually. This is kind of severe. It is only level 1 poison, so... Not good enough. Top lane, Miracle trying to pursue S4 here. Taking a lot of damage from that Ion shell. And in mid lane, Limp's looking pretty healthy still. Miracle's gonna have another tough lane, that's for sure. Melee's against Dark Seer is never fun. Bovev. <laughs> Bovev. Arthes again, some last hits with the Storm Hammer. Meanwhile, middle. Smell's starting to. He puts two points in the poison, so he really wants to. Zone out limp. Who doesn't, right? You definitely want to zone out your enemy heroes. So that you can win the lane. Damn, limp's taking a ton of damage. He still has that salve, right? Yeah, he does. S4 is also taking a ton of damage. From the Wild Wing Gripper. And that's actually what it's called. Uh, not doing any Iron Shell crit plays. Z Freak's waiting. He wants a freaking courier. Needs to be careful. Is this usually the five position positions job? But I think Z Freak and uh, three four three kind of share that role. I think every game that they play, they're like uh, a four point five each. They're they're in between a four and a five, both of them. Up here top, got some action on S4. Taking a little bit of beatings. Crit's not gonna allow that to happen. The Wild Ring Ripper comes out. Ah, I didn't know that. The stun doesn't apply to him. S4 is actually dead here. First blood, 343. Three. Down here bottom, some Maledict onto Fly, and in mid, there's uh, some hair ass. Hair in the ass. <laughs> uh, thanks, uh, I'm up all, I'm, I'm here all night. We were three. Now resuming to the jungle. It's gonna punish Miracle's farm a bit more, but he's actually not doing bad in farm. Considering. Arteezy's having an absolute blast though. Picking up his boots already. Lim's taking a ton of damage. He's just gonna have to constantly pull salves. But if Sumail's doing the same thing, then that's fine. Just keep everybody on the same page. S4's got to be a little more careful. I don't think he should have died there, so that's just bad positioning at that point. But I'm sure uh, they probably forced it out of him. Timed the surge. Where's that courier go? Boots by both carries. Arteezy's going to get a nice stun on Z-Freak. Tava's going to prevent him from going any further. There is a Maledict, but they can't turn around because the Shadow Poison. Tava's really tanky, though. They don't have to worry about any of this. 
Stacking's gonna be happening from limp. Sumail's just gonna maintain the lane. I can see why he's in the jungle. If you're fighting an arcane rune co-op, you really don't want to be there. <laughs> There's just nothing appealing about that, so. Limp's gonna solo use the shrine. But he does have priority. Usually you use it around this time anyways. The minute the five hits. If you're losing as a mid at least. Z Freak barely gonna survive. Tavo's gonna try and do something about this. Fly is semi out of position, but I don't there's like no real follow up to this. And Fly's out of shrine now, he's fine. Quop's really bullying limp. Or er, Sumail. Uh, I'm okay with Limp doing this. Usually you wait till level 3. Oh, top lane S4 is in a big pickle. Crit's managing to make the most out of it. Because uh, he's not letting Miracle get anywhere near him. So as a result, S4 is going to live. As I was saying about Limp though, usually you want 3 points in this. He's actually just going to level alt. Okay. Uh, but if you have somebody jungling, you should be throwing somebody mid to make up for this, right? Oh. Fly. He knows he can't get it. Supports can't get flying couriers anymore. Somebody should be taking over mid. Just as well there's not they're not. Fly is uh flies there. Miracle. Taking a bit of damage. But this is fine. There's nothing wrong with razor jungling. You don't see it as much anymore, but Somebody needs to be mid. There's some precious EXP being lost here. Sumail may be controlling the wave pretty good, but still. Tavo gonna be tower diving RTZ. He's too tanky to possibly get a kill. Top lane, there's also some tower diving going on there. Got a disruption going to be used on Miracle. He's gonna get the alt off though, so pretty much all those stuns and stuff do no damage. He doesn't have the shrine though. Limp used it for jungling, so is he going to be able to survive this? That Iron Shell is doing a ton of damage to Miracle. He's trying to juke. He actually is going to get crit, and he's going to juke the poison. Not bad for Miracle. All that solo play styling on him. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That was some really uh, well-timed speech lines. Sumail making a slight dive on Limp. The stun's going to connect, but Miracle's here to babysit. Fly's also here, though. Miracle needs to be careful. He just used all. He's two seconds away, but I don't think the regen's enough. One second, yes, he's going to get it. I think he's still dead. He's going to just try and turn on somebody, or, or not. Pretty good for EG. Not only did you force our rotation, but you killed both cores for the price of nothing. Three four three spotted, but down here you got Arturka all by himself. Needs to be careful. Oh, those creeps with the Maldict. He's got the stun TP just as well, cause he. Wait, what level's that Maldict? Two. He actually wouldn't have died, but no regen left. He might as well just go back to the base. Miracles having a little bit of a rough time, but he's making the most of it. We saw what happened to him last game with his last rough time. Mind you, he's playing more of a farm hero. I'm tired. Miracle going up for the phase drums. Pretty standard. Smoke gank from EG. They're actually pretty well known for doing this. Usually it's around the 8 minute mark. It looks like it's going to be 9 minutes here. They're going to go on Miracle. He does have his ultimate. They can't really chain stun him here, so all they're doing is just a ton of damage. Okay, so Miracle's gonna purge that off, and he's purging off a bit of the Iron Shell. Nobody's here to help him, really, though. He's actually gonna live. You're serious. Did he actually just juke that? Wow. <laughs> Cheesy. Ah, uh, that's a dead Z Freak. He is extremely dead. 
Fly's gonna take the kill. That's pretty greedy. Uh, but Arteezy did have Ion Shell, so him guaranteeing that kill is pretty limited. Check out the wards here. Uh, some offensive ones from EG. We got some side lane offensive and this slight offensive one mid lane from Complexity. Uh, that's what 343 is doing right now. After that disruption. Well done for Fly. Gives it to RTC2. EG's got this like vision, or sorry, Complexity's got this vision triangle up here, but uh, obviously not not benefiting them too well. Most of their deaths have been happening up here. RTZ stunned up, nearly gets solo killed by Z Freak. Oh, is he gonna tech in base? Yes, he is. Some mana tips being done. Sumail's been pretty quiet this game, so obviously he's prioritizing farming more so than just going for kills. He is 2 0. He doesn't need to worry too bad, too badly about it, but normally we're used to seeing Sumail being a little bit more active on the map. Instead, they're kind of leaving that up to Arteezy, but he did just get soul killed to Z Freak. So, might be seeing him returning more so to the jungle and uh, smell killing people like this. I feel like from the last game alone, 343 dying actually means nothing. Like, I feel like he's just pulling a pile I die, and him and pile I die are like good buddies. I'm just assuming this grossly. So, yeah, like, yeah, I don't think Complexity is really in a bad spot. They're more so in a bad spot as in their draft is in its light game as EGs. But it's not horrendous. I can't believe all the pressure they're putting on this Ursa. This is like one of the last heroes you want to put pressure on. Especially because S4 is going to die now that Crit missed that. Oh, no, Fly is going to keep him alive. So four hero rotation. What is complexity getting out of this? Nothing made because Arteezy's there. They got the bot tower. Then they'll return to top. Where are my glasses? No wonder I'm having a hard time seeing. There we go. I actually don't have glasses, but they're they're gaming glasses, so they help out for when you're fatigued from a poor diet. TZ gonna grab his uh, signature Midas on his. So then, farming up some ancient stacks. EG's at the top of the net worth board. Now, last game complexity was pretty far ahead in terms of gold and stuff, but it looks like this time it's going to be EG. Much better game for them than last time, obviously. Smoke gank definitely going to be happening. It's a five man. They're not going to try like a sneak rush, are they? What are they doing? Nope, just a regular gank. EG knows this because they're like, uh, we haven't seen people on the map in the last two seconds, so. Somebody's here. I think EG's going to successfully avoid this. Putting up some vision, but S4 is far enough away that they can't really do anything about it. Spear Vessel being picked up on Z Freak. Arturka, Fly, Queen of Pain. Holy shoot, casting the best of five is insane. I can't imagine playing it. Actually, playing is easier. Uh, I know because they play Dota. And lots of it. Lots of pings out here from EG. Next to this ward on the cliff here. Uh, I think Z Freak's fine. Arteezy's still chasing. No, he's okay. Does Tavo have a blink yet? Yes, he does. Crit's in the vicinity, though. S4 is too. They're gonna dive this. They're going on Tavo. He's gonna stun into the trees. I guess they now know Z Freak's still here, so they could definitely tower dive this. 
Sumail's all by himself, but he's not really the greatest hero they want to be going for. The stun's going to happen with the uh, Z-Freak ult. It's not going to do anything. Ooh, 343 is doing some chunky damage to Crit. Oh, barely lives. Dang, what a mech timing. Crit just barely living on the skin of his teeth twice. Complexity shrines up. And away! Away he goes! Wee! There goes Miracle. There goes. Sorry, there goes Miracle. There goes Miracle. And now Tavo's dead. Stuns up crit and gets a return kill. Oh my god, with his head! <laughs> Surprised he got a return kill there. Crit, a little bit sloppy, man. Signature five position bracer on 343. Mech completed on S4. Sumail probably working towards that Lincolns. He's very close to having it done. Actually, they're going to go in on 343 up here. He's going to TP away, does it? Okay, he's just going to give him the big old scream. You could have had a BA. Fly with brown boots. Limp with phase Yules. Surprised we don't see mech anymore on Razor. I think it's still pretty good. Crit has his urn. And yeah, that's going to get pinged out. Arteezy has his echo. What does Arteezy do? Does he do blank then BKB? Or he does, he, he does like S and Y blank BKB. We've already seen Fly's items. We're going to see Z-Freaks because he's going to die here, which is basically his Spirit Vessel he's still working on. And S4 takes the kill. I'm sure Arteezy's not too thrilled about that one. Nix with an urn. Urn's still working on a BKB. Okay, now this is a me build if, ever, if I've ever seen it. This is what I do on my Ursa. And... The logic behind doing this before any mobility items is that your drums is basically your mobility and you have phase two. So it's not like you're slow or anything. You could still get around pretty decent. And Tavo's got the blinks, so he doesn't really need to worry too much in that regard. But like you naturally do a ton of damage on, on Ursa. So you don't need to worry about positioning if someone's taking care of it or damage. You need to worry about not getting stunned so you could deliver the damage. And that's where the BKB rush comes in. Miracle yet again is going to be facing the brunt of EG. Going to try and purge this off. Limp's trying to create a bit of space, but Miracle should be dead here. Sumail's just going to blink and scream him. No one's really focusing Sumail either when he does this because he's got DD. So he can just keep punishing them. This is actually a really bad fight for complexity. He's just going to get cleaved up by Arteezy. And now they gotta run for the hills. Or the Darkseer wall, for that matter. You can't ignore Sumail like that, that's for sure. That's when somebody would argue, oh, well, if Ursa had a blink. Look, Ursa does not blink. He doesn't have BKB either, okay? Uh, hold the phone. Shut up. Shut up, okay. Shut <laughs> That's how you uh, bypass the swear filter, folks. Just merge words and uh, spell them differently. Greaves pretty much done on S4. Probably another smoke. This is usually what this indicates. Z Freak has it. Pavel's working on his Yules. Miracle. Oh, man. Miracle's just not having a good day. That's all. He's gonna get the alt off. Nobody's here though. He he's dead. He is toast. One and four on Ursa. This is not a good Ursa game, and this Queen of Pain's really proven why it's that's not the case. Looking pretty bad for complexity now. Not like horrifically bad, but this is an 8-0 Queen of Pain on Sumail. This is a Sumail special hero. 
Not a Monkey King. It's this hero right here. Arteezy's got his blinks, so he's not going SMY. He's just going to sell for the Echo into it. Maybe he has been watching some of the other European games. This is like a Na'Vi thing. BKB and then into Assault Curious. Crit's going to get picked off. Dust activated by Z-Freak. Going to use the cast. Tavo giving him the right clicks and uh, Limp's actually going to be able to pick up the kill and that's pretty good. You want Limp getting nice, nice and beefy. EG's going to invade uh, Complexity's jungle. I love how like their warding's so similar that they're like right on top of each other for wards. But the timing should indicate that they should see this, right? Like the person who placed the ward first should see the other ward. Complexity has a lot of wards bottom, so maybe what they were thinking was they were... Oh, hold the thought. Fly's gonna get picked off here. As I was saying, Complexity's got the wards bottom, so I guess what they were assuming is, okay, we're dying way too much top. Let's just put Miracle bot and he can farm up and catch up that way. And then he dies bottom too, so... They saw the Rosh, not feeling confident enough in their current state of the game. But now that they've seen the Rosh, EG's seen the Rosh. And that means EG's remember that Roshan's a Dota 2, and they are a Roshan team. Not necessarily their hero draft this time, but they uh, they like their Roshes. They specialize in killing Rosh whenever uh, it's to their convenience. Pings out from crit. Pings out from S4. Pings out from crit. <sighs> so crit's indicating he wants to like ward up for Rosh. And then SR is like, well, Z Freak's bottom. So I guess we could do that. Fly's gonna try and D ward, but uh, Tavis not gonna let that happen. But Fly's got another one, so he's going to deward again. And into the pit, EG go. Now, Complexity, like Alliance, are really bad at knowing that somebody's doing a Raj, let alone contesting it. So, looks like they either have no clue or no intentions to contest this, because they're behind. And it's first Raj. It's not really the biggest of deals, but they definitely can't. If this game extends, they cannot be letting the second Raj go down like that. That's when you need to have your BKB on our so you need to make sure that you're contesting things. I'm actually insanely tired. I don't know if I could stay up for the next game. Like, it's pretty bad, but... Uh, that's what coffee and tea is for. Maybe I just need to run out and get, get some Tims. Maybe, maybe... Why are you playing on LGD? Because you're Chinese. Malaysians play on LGD though. Not just the Chinese. This male's got his maelstrom. It's literally like an amber. Uh, but it's fitting for Queen of Pain to have this. It's not fitting for an amber to have this. Stun from Arteezy on the 3-4-3. I just want to call him Adam. Okay, I gotta look up what a kookaburra is. Let, let's do that right now. I don't know what this is. It's kookaburra. It's like a monkey, right? No. Oh, right. It's one of these bugger birds. The giant kingfisher from Australia. That's what it is. Somebody else is gonna go in. Little mini skirmishes here. No one's really doing too much. Now they are. They caught out Limp. Nice episode. Uh, okay, not quite nice. But he was alone there. He didn't want to stay. He wants to be with his team. EG's just going to start mowing over complexity here. Tavo's dead. We already know that. So's uh, 343 from the burst damage. 
of the mana burn from crit. Miracle's now caught off guard, stunned up by RTC. Iron Shell's also hurting him, and Sumail's gonna get the last hit with the Scream of Pain. Or Sonic Wave. Sorry, Sonic Wave. Uh, the problem is with Complexity's draft here is they don't have the late game against EG, and if EG's already starting to run them over like this, it's usually not looking too good. Not saying this game's over, by all means, but starting to get a little bit out of hand. The goal is almost up to 15k, and so is the XP. It's pretty uh, consistent. Oh, I was on that. Where's my net worth? RT's going for the AC. Gonna Yule's up crit in the air, but not good enough. Tavo. It's gonna pop up. Teezy's pressing the issue. That looks really cool, actually, the Iron Shell in the middle of the Lincolns. It's just very uh, ASMR. I think EG can keep pressuring this. I don't see what's why they have to stop. They're starting to get a little bit low in HP, but they do have the Agus on Sumail. So he could get extremely aggressive, which is his specialty. Godlike on Sumail. Limp's trying to do something about the damage popping up from RTZ. He's going to reveal his blink, or his BKB. Miracle's getting slowed down by the purge, though, so it's hard for him to really gap close on anybody without that B blink. And the BKB was supposed to be the solution. I wonder if S4 is going to tick out, actually. That urn is going to tick him out, but meanwhile on the back line, Sumail's actually diving base. What's he going to grab here? He's got his Mjolnir. Oh man, he does pick off Miracle. It's gonna be Agus. Now, how's he gonna live? He has no teammates nearby. Is he gonna blink? I'd be blinking up here if I were him, but I mean, you're gonna see the movement of that. Oh no! Yeah, Samuel is dead. In the Maldic. It's a 10 Spree. It's a Z Freak. He's probably really loving that. And EG only got the tier 3, so slight throws. A little bit of 3 2 2. Fly with the tranquils. Don't get to see him with too many items. Esports gonna go for the four staff. Interesting. More so worried about his teammates than himself. Or their initiation, I guess. Buybacks is always the thing when you're pushing a base. So you don't need to go these all in items. Like Blink Dagger and blow them up because they'll just buy back and then you don't really have any tools to keep you there in the fight. They're gonna find crit. He's going to delay this a bit, but he's definitely uh, hook, line, and sinkered. I didn't even say that right. Hooked. L hook, line, and sink. Er, what the heck is that saying? i got to check that out now. Hook, line, and sinker, right? Hook, line, and sinker. Okay. Okay, okay. Got some drawing... Pablo Picasso from S4 here. Complexity. EG's grouping though. I guess they know about this. Like, well, Limp's pushing alone, so somebody's with them. I want to see a time where, like, Limp would be pushing alone there, but no one's actually with him, and EG just thinks that it's a smoke. But they do have this ward, they have this ward, so. And they have this ward. So they have a general idea, and EG's gonna smoke. And you know what? Complexity doesn't have a ward there. So they're gonna jump limp right away. He's gonna pop BKB so Artisi can't stun him. 
Are they going to be able to get him? It's, a, it's still like a nine second BKB, so it's pretty long. Down here, bottom, Miracle's going to get picked off. No, he's not. He's going to blink TP. Tavo, four hit by Arteezy. He's going to have to buy back. They see the Razor. Oh, this is bad if you're complexity. S4 just needs to make sure that he doesn't get his TP off. He's still chasing. They know that he used BKB. He's already begun the... Oh, is the... Oh, yes, S4 does catch him in time. Link. Most likely going to fall here. Arteezy's on radar. Coming in at Mach 10. Is he going to overextend the blank? No, he's going to play it safe. Just going to run in. Just give him the big old slap from the big dirty sword. And he will get the kill this time. Is Volk on this? Z Freak, stunned up by Crit. Dead by Samael. <laughs> Look at Crit, he tried. He really tried to get that kill. That was a little rude of him. Arturka. Up here top, 343 three gets picked off by the crit stun. Tava's gonna try and do a burrow strike. BKB pop from Miracle, but he's not getting anything done with this. Z-Freak's just gonna blow up in the back line. He bought out, so there's no buyback on him. Uh, this is pretty much GG, obviously. Miracle does have buyback, but he can't solo this. And that's the end of it. Much better draft. Well, no, I liked DG's draft last time. We just, uh, they banked in on the Sandy Mage, and it just didn't work out. In this game, this Queen of Pain pick really screwed over Complexity. He wasn't even that active early game. It was just like it screwed them over because they couldn't do anything about him. They didn't have the draft to deal with the complexity or to deal with the Queen of Pain. So, um, 